Hey, what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video. Microsoft released 3D Builder actually for desktops a few weeks, months ago. They released as well for mobile, like a few days ago. And I installed the 3D Builder, I installed it on SD card and today I'm gonna show you how it performs on a mobile phone and installed on SD card as well because it isn't installed on an SD card and so far it works more than fine and so far works great uh, I have I made here a, a project because you can do a, actually a bunch of stuff not only like making 3d objects uh, you have already here a few examples uh, which you can make but you can let's make a new scene here we have the default layout here you can add cube cylinder pyramid cone etc let's try to press on add uh, you can go with the camera and make a picture and then on the picture you can also customize it pretty well let's make here a picture let's make without a flash keyboard it's a bit dirty but doesn't matter okay so we took the picture let's press yes and the picture it says loading you can't really see it well but uh, the picture is already here and you can hear here you can see here smooth look at the picture uh, changing you can as well make like this and you can, we can as well turn off the textures or press inverse okay you see here let's turn off the textures turn on and here is the picture i took can do whatever you want with the picture it's pretty cool not only with pictures you can do like I said with objects as well let's press inverse no if I press smooth if I turn down the smoothness if I bring it up the picture is much clearer let's go like this and try to go smooth down you can see the, the picture goes like a bit darker not like so beautiful now it gets more brightness Let's see, uh, contour, hate map, I never uh, tried this, oh, what, what is this, <laughs> wow, what the fuck, I mean you can do pretty cool stuff with it, let's uh, try edge, huh. I think it still keeps that uh, hate map from, uh, and a stamp, pretty cool I liked more the contour which is more or less this the original picture let's press import image and here you got the picture you can resize you can place it where you want you can resize it as well I forgot how to, how to resize I forgot how to resize but you can resize it as well you can place it wherever you want but anyway this is a uh, how it works and as you can see it works more than fine it works pretty smooth actually and the objective of this video is to show you how it works not uh, I'm not a pro in 3d building I actually don't have any knowledge about uh, 3d building uh, objects but this one it's pretty cool and it's kind of easy as well to play with it playing on a mobile it's kind of a bit uh, difficult but uh, playing with the hands uh, with the gestures it's more than fine it works fine and uh, I thought when I installed it, I I went straight to try how it works the the zooming uh, because I was thinking the zooming it will be so hard and laggy. But as you can see, the zooming it works so so smooth. It's I like it. It's smooth. It works fine for me. You can save it, save as 3D print um, if you have a 3D printer, of course. Uh, print on paper and let's go into settings to see what's in the settings. Uh, which units you want to see, millimeters, centimeters, and so on, feet, meters, uh, track recent uh, items, snapping, collision, and you don't have anything more on the settings. Let's add a cone, for example, and you can, you added, <laughs> I added here the cone, close to my picture. You see here, now I want to rotate like this, it was a bit harder, uh, you can load the project, load an image, camera, Let's add this uh, Windows logo, downloading file and the Windows logo is here, see again, oh, yeah, again, <laughs> you have to press on this to move, but it doesn't move all the time, but now it's moving, now it's not moving, I say I can't move it anymore there, maybe you can bring it down, and now yeah, 
because the, the image was there. Let's zoom out. See, it's a bit tricky to play with the fingers, but it's, it's definitely possible. It's definitely tricky anyway, I'm, I will gonna let it there uh, because it might be boring to watch someone building something, but uh, overall the application works very good and you can create easily things with the application for the people who, for the pro professionals who build uh, 3D images or 3D logos, then this will be very good uh, tool. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.